TMJ and the occiput. You see the divot here? It's from her doing that and taking the pressure in the back. That's not where you want your jumping ones to take the pressure. When they're ventral flexed behind the withers, they're locked like this. So as they do this, because the thoracic sling is down, they actually lose their balance and do that. Right. If she releases the jaw, I'll release the ring like that. You see how she starts to move through her body? So she starts to release in her body, and every time she releases through her body, when she's connected to the bridle, and she releases to the bridle, she builds understanding of release, but she also opens the spinal process and relaxes the spine so she builds proprioception. You see her hind legs start to move. So that's what we're doing is really from the brain, through the neck, through the spine, through the pelvis to the hind leg. One of the truths is as we get the head neck at the skull released, it's boche really, um, then we'll get access to the shoulder. As we get the longitudinal release in the neck, we'll get access to the back. As we get both of those, we'll get access to lumbar sacral. As we get lumbar sacral, we'll get the pelvis, and then we can develop the pelvis. Hind leg connection, shorten the baseline. I don't want her hind leg to go sideways. I want it to come forward while I'm backing up. So I want her shoulders to move off of me like that. Hind leg to come forward between the midline and the ribcage. There you go. And that sets up biomechanically the hind leg so the joints flex. But she'll take the pressure off of the front end. She'll take the pressure off of her back. She'll start to use her hind legs. Her top line will develop differently. The base of her neck will develop differently. Well, the next time I see you, she'll be a different horse. So she has the uh, opportunity to be completely different. Remember, every horse you sit on is going to push the thoracic sling down in between the front legs. So we already know that. Um, so it's about what we do after we get them to carry us that teaches them how to engage your hind end, how to bascule in their top line and lift. But different horses sometimes take, you know, a couple of years before they get that. Um, this horse now is mature, but we're un unraveling stuff. So the f psychological, physiological unraveling is more important at this point, biomechanic alignments, releases over the over the top, or all you really need to engage that hind leg just here where it's shoulder four. So it's not here, although sometimes in hand she'll throw her leg over, it's just here where the joints all flex so that she can coil the pelvis and push up. So that's what starts the front end starts the whole deal, then the being careful with the hind end alignment is what starts that connection back and forth. So if we get that, then she's going to pee and she's going to hurt her joints and she's going to do all of that because we've opened lumbar sacral, relaxed thoracically, the base of the neck is going to relax. Now she's going to get completely different neural messaging through her body and different proprioception. Are you okay? She said, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Yeah, but she, she'll feel better. Now she's yeah. integrating the feel through her spine. So it's kind of like going to the chiropractor and the massage therapist at the same time. So you get out of there and you feel like, whoa, yeah. what in the heck just happened? But that feels good, yeah. you know? And that's where your start to ride your horse should be. See the vasculation along yeah. her belly. You see that everything starts to change. So, well, my pleasure. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Well, you'll see the world changes when you when you look at your pictures of this next year. You aren't even going to know what's going on. If you run your horse out, you won't be competitive anymore. But Following this program, you'll have a sound horse for a lot longer. You'll have a healthy horse for a lot longer. You won't have to fight with your horse. Your horse will go do what you ask them to do because they can. I'll leave it at that. So for me, 
you know, their well-being is more important than any ribbon that anybody's going to give me. 